The new LG G7 ThinQ is here, and we can confirm it is pronounced ThinQ. Like, thank you, but ThinQ. Thin Q. It picks up where the LG G6 left off, extending the screen a little bit from 18 by 9 to 19.5 by 9, and adding a notch. As with the Huawei P20 series, you can choose to hide the notch, having the top area used for notification and status information. The screen's an IPS Quad HD panel, 6.1 inches, and boy does this thing get bright. One thousand nits. It only goes for three minutes at a time though at that peak brightness. The design of this phone is similar to the LG G6, except you've got a home button on the right hand side now. It isn't the fingerprint scanner. There's also a vertically stacked camera alignment around the back as opposed to horizontally stacked and there's an assistant button, a Google assistant button. Think of it like a Bixby button but more useful. The phone also features a metal frame, Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back, and yes, LG has kept the headphone jack. According to LG, the camera setup is better than the V30s. You've got two 16 megapixel rear cameras, one f1.9, the other, the primary one is f1.6, and on the front, you've got a bumped up eight megapixel sensor, a much needed improvement in the selfie department from LG. The main camera is also nice and smart. There are 19 scenes that it can recognize and it can squish pixels together to make a four megapixel image that is even better in low light. LG always has a wide angle camera when it has a dual camera setup, and the LG G7 ThinQ is no different. The primary camera is 71 degrees, with the wide angle camera being 107 degrees. Just like with Huawei phones, LG's portrait mode doesn't crop in. Instead, it gives you a nice wide angle so you can get plenty of people in shot with a sharp foreground and a blurry background. The G7 ThinQ also has wireless charging on board, as well as Quick Charge 3.0 officially supported and 4.0 unofficially supported. And there's a 3000 milliamp battery under the hood. Powering this thing along is a Snapdragon 845 processor, so it's the latest and greatest paired with either four or six gigabytes of RAM and 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage, depending on your region. So that is the LG G7 ThinQ. First impressions, this is a standout screen phone when it comes to brightness. It's also very good looking and has a very nice wide angle camera on board as well. But I am slightly concerned about that 3000 milliamp battery, but who knows? LG could have some very smart power management under the hood. It is definitely too early to call it. We will be getting our full review written in the next few weeks. So keep it locked to TechRadar to stay on top of that. Thanks for watching.